Hi, uh, we're at Buzz Ludger today, which is an old communist building. Um, quite a nasty road to get up here, not too bad though, a few big potholes but not not for the faint of heart. <laughs> uh, basically we were going to try and fly the Mavic Mini and the Femi but to be honest with you this wind is, is quite strong. I don't know if you can sort of make out like, I mean, it probably will be quite a lot of wind noise on the camera. Um, but, we're going to give it a fly, see if it's this really beautiful countryside here. Um, you may have seen this uh, monument on history programs, travel programs, and Transport 2. I think it's Transport 2, I don't really watch them. It's one of the Transport films anyway. Uh, basically, we're going to try and fly up and fly around it. It's in a bit of a state of ruin now. There's a campaign to try and repair it, but I think there's some people who don't want it, so other people who do. So, right, let's set our settings. So we've got good settings. Right, here we go. Um, I want to set my settings to high again. As so always, we have to reset the video quality on this drone for some reason. High. I always have it set to sunny. I think that always gets better results or as it keeps dropping in and out like I don't know the the picture will kind of darken and brighten and you know all that kind of stuff. H265 let's start recording on the drone. Oh hang on let's stop recording let's start recording again. Um, let's hope I mean I haven't really flown in here before so let's try take off. It's got 15 satellites. Oh, it's drifting a bit towards us. Let's get that high. Right, anyway, the drone's up. Above us there. So I'll back it off a bit. Oh, hang on. Back it off a bit. Don't know if you can see that up there. Um, you can see the monument behind, can you? Ah, uh, yeah. So it's, it's, it's not having a good time trying to hold its place, I'll tell you that. But anyway, let's see if we can see on the camera, basically. Let's see if I can get it pointed at Buzz Ludger, at least. Right, I'll go up a bit. Right, we're up. Let's hope that it comes back down at some point as well, because the filming looks good, actually. Um, one thing I might try and do is how do I get it out of like fast mode? Um, hang on. It's, I kind of want to slow the drone down a bit, but maybe that's not easy to do. But anyway, it's sat there having a look at Buzz Ledger for a second. Um, but is there any sort of like, you know, let's see if there's a limit of flight speed 10 meters a second. There's beginner mode, limit of speed, distance, height, and sport mode. So, I don't see anything for going sort of cinematically, as I kind of wanted to go cinematically. If I was to put uh, beginner mode on, would that actually do something? Would that... I uh, know, you can't, you, can't, you can't do it in flight, apparently. Um, but anyway, that is a shame. I'd like to have like, kind of slowed it down a bit, because we found the footage kind of got a bit... Um, I don't know, it just went a bit weird. So let's um, let's see if we can bank over a bit to the. So I wonder if we can we can fly over it and around it. So that takes it up. What I want to kind of do is fly around it. You know, sort of fly around the thing to give you a good look. I have to back off a bit from it there. Um, turn the aircraft a bit. But yeah, I don't really want it to yaw as fast as it's doing, really. Yeah, it's, it's just... It's turning too fast, and I don't like that about it, really. I kind of want to sort of cinematically have a look at this. This is quite a nice, nice place. So, this is probably the nicest place we filmed, I think. You know, Nessie Bar was kind of picturesque, but this is like kind of, you know, quite a nice 
so we got to, we definitely got to get used to sort of flying around these things i think so maybe we could do an orbit you know maybe we could orbit this thing but i think you've got to kind of fly over it haven't you and then you know could we could we like go high and fly over the thing do a sort of mode of of, of flying around it i don't know i'm going to give it a go i'm certainly going to do that <laughs> So let's drop the camera down. See, I don't know how high we are over it. I'm guessing we're, oh, you know, we're, I'm guessing we're pretty far above it now, are we? I kind of want to be the maximum height away from it. <laughs> See if we can like kind of go over it. Let's reach this max altitude. Somewhere over there, the drone. <laughs> anyway, basically, do we want to do an orbit around this thing? I think we do. So let's see if we can do an orbit. Right, so please fly to the top of the center. I don't know if this is set in the centre of it. The radius should be over five. Right, so it's now we're going to back it off. We're going to back it off quite far now. The whole idea is I want to fly this thing around it, and hopefully we're not going to. You know, let's set that 130 meters. Looks good. Set the radius. Now what we want to do is set the centre, so you set the centre as a heading, so it looks, it'll keep the camera looking at the object. So we just take that up to 6 metres a second, I think. And now we want to kind of go around it. In fact, say flight height is greater than limited height. Hey? What do you mean limited height? So, can we bring the drone down? Alright, hang on. So let's limit the... Can we bring it down? Right. Let's see if we can do it now. Yeah, hang on. Put the camera up a bit. Oh. And let's see if we can kind of go around it cinematically. <laughs> kind of fly around it and hope that we don't hit anything. <laughs> but the idea is, is it, is it kept it Hang on, has it kept it in the centre? I don't know if it has really. Hang on, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop that because I don't really like, it doesn't look very good to me. So I'm going to turn it back on to it. Yeah, it's difficult. This, this, you know, they, they make these things look easy, um, but they're actually quite hard. Right, so let's do the orbit again. I'm guessing, right, the centre... So you, the trouble is, is we can't really fly over the top of it, can we? I mean, basically, let's see if we can fly over the top of it. But I think you need to drop the camera right down and try and fly over the top of the drone, uh, of Buzz Ledger. And let's just see if we can, the drone has reached, my, oh, that's max at attitude. Hang on, I need to go forward. Probably shouldn't pick like a world famous monument as the first thing to kind of set, uh, you know. <laughs> Hang on a minute. So let's see where we are. Are we going over the top of it? Hang on, let's see. Let's see if we're going over the top of this. My nervousness is that we're not, but. We don't seem to be in any danger of being right over the top. So I'm going to drop the camera right down and I'm going to fly right over the top of this thing. Um, that turns the camera slightly. Okay, so hang on, I want to... I want to go... I want the camera right down and I want to fly right over the top. Set in the centre. Right, hang on, back a bit. So I want to get this right. You know, I want to get this right. Right, so... 
it's forward. That that's relatively centre of it, isn't it? So let's drop the drone down a little bit. Now, setting that we set the centre, the radius. I want to. Oh, hang on. No, I want to come back out of a radius of like. Hang on. I want to get a radius of like again something like 130 meters out from this thing, right? Yeah, there we go, 140, maybe a bit more to be honest. Um, right, drop the camera up like that. That's the radius. Now what I want to do is I want to set the centre heading. I want to set it to sort of fly around it relatively fast. It's just quite cold and windy up here. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll do that. So now... Let's see if we can pick the camera back up a bit. Is that orbiting it? It is, I think. Is this our first successful nice looking orbit of something? Maybe. Uh, there's a lot of builders in the in the building, so I don't know what they're doing, whether they're just re-securing it. You get a lot of um you get a lot of YouTube videos that come from here tend to be like people breaking and entering into the thing and go and have a look at like the amazing interior because it was a really beautiful really expensive building i think it's like practically bankrupted bulgaria to build this um that's what the communists were like but basically you know we're, we're, we're talking about a building that had like beautiful sort of interior it was very grand i mean it's a beautiful view out here i mean hopefully the drone will pick up some of the niceness of the view. Hang on, I'll drop the oh, hang on, I'll drop the camera back down again a bit, just to sort of get a view of it. I almost think you could back off a bit more from that and do a bit more of a view. I, I don't know whether we'll get a good. You know, I might back off. I might try and do another orbit and just back off a bit more. Um, the trouble is, is I think the centre will. You know, can you back off while you're? Um, you know, can you back off like as you're doing it? I think you can. So let's drop the camera. Oh, hang on. Lift the camera back up. Drop away. Drop off a bit. Oh, to me, it's looking kind of cinematic. I could be wrong. It's looking kind of cinematic, but I can't. It, it again, hot Bulgarian sunlight. Sunlight. Well, certainly not. Well, I'm not saying it's hot. It's not hot. It's 18 degrees. It reminds me of being back in the UK. There's a wind. You know, it's sort of reminding me that that temperature isn't as good as people make out. But um, yeah, I think it's like 18, 19 degrees. But it's sunny. Still bright, sunny. Um, down on the ground. Um, we're talking 25, 26 degrees today, so yeah, big temperature differences. Right, so the drone is basically orbiting around this, and I think, I think it's doing it, oh, hang on, I think it's doing a good job of orbiting around. So I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, that's the first nice looking video. And we remembered to turn on the, well, we figured out how to turn on the precision landing. So we should get precision landing. So basically this time we will hopefully see the drone come back down on its landing pad. So that's, that's the hope. But um, yeah, very stunning countryside, high hill. I don't know if it's a hill or a mountain, um, but basically, you know, very, very, very nice. So um I want to drop again. I, I can't get the whole inverted thing out. I just I'm terrible for dropping the camera. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know if we're quite gonna like you know break any records with how cinematic it all looks. Um, but it's a pretty nice building. We thought we'd come out and have a look at it. It's a few hours drive from us. It's pretty impressive. You know, it, it's sort of quite popular on YouTube, I think. So. I think you know if you're you know if you're in this area and you've got a drone this is this has got to be filmed so um, that's pretty impressive really you know I don't think we'd have got that with the Mavic Mini I think I would have been blown all over the place I was really I, I was well up for like because I thought well 
we won't get Wi-Fi signal issues here. You can hear it like kind of going round. Um, you, you wouldn't, I think the Mavic Mini wouldn't have Wi-Fi issues here, but certainly that strong wind warning, I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, the Mavic Mini, I almost feel like you put it up on the calmest day and it's like strong wind warning. To be fair to it today, I think this would be a strong wind warning. I think you would, look at that, that's a bit more cinematic, you know. Anyway, it's orbiting it, it's having a good look, um, you know, hopefully we'll get some really nice footage from this. Um, I did intend to play around with some of the gimbal settings, I thought I saw a bit of, um, I don't know, just sort of like lines, the, the, the quality doesn't wasn't quite, like the trouble is we don't see the film until we get home. So when you see the film, you know, that's that, you know, we didn't know that at the time. We didn't know that there was like issues with, you know, propellers in shot or issues with like, you know, maybe it's there's a slight jello. I'm not sure if you call it jello. I don't know if we quite had jello. I've, I've certainly looked at other people's um, footage and I, I'm not sure we can say we've got jello, but um, we've got something, something where, where if you're flying at a certain angle, maybe a certain amount of wind. But it's going to be very interesting to look at this footage. I had all sorts of ideas of changing gimbal settings. But as you know, if you don't do these things before you come out, you kind of, you know, you find yourself without decent signal up here. You, you can't see the screen properly. Nothing really kind of works out as you expect it when you actually come out and do a video. So I, I think we should have probably done those things at home. But I'm very happy with how this, um, you know, Femi has handled it. I mean, I, I wonder if we're the first Femi X8 SE 2020 to fly around Buzz Ledger. A lot of drones will fly around this thing. So um, I, I think, you know, we could be one of the first um, people to fly around it. But anyway, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna, gonna try and get it to return to home at some point. Um, I need to be careful of where we are because I don't want it flying into that big tower up there, you know? Um, you know, you want to be quite careful of that. Um, oh, I think I can hear it going over overhead now. So I'm going to bring it out of orbit. Well, I'm going to bring it out of orbit, but I think it's on the other side now. But I thought I heard something then. I'm going to try and do a return to home. And my gut feeling is that I think it might do it this time so we've got precision landing turned on as a setting so let's see I can I can hear something so <laughs> something's above us it's either our drone or it's someone else's drone um, landing pad not detected hang on here we go we've got to keep an eye out for this because it's coming down Right, yeah, I can see where it is now. So it's still about 70 metres, 67 metres high. So it's coming down above us. What I don't want to do is let it land on Emily, really. Um, kids don't really like drones on top of the pram. But yeah, I mean, basically, let's see where we get to. Um, I might turn, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's doing its job. I don't think it's going to land on us. Landing pad detected. Is this an amazement now? Are we going to get the first ever, for me, um, landing of a Femi on the landing pad? I've secured the landing pad so the wind, even though it's strong, no, nowhere near. That's a real shame because I, you know, that is a real shame. That is a, that is a shame. That is because I, I, I think. It's moaning about low precision GPS, although it had 15, 16 satellites, so I don't think it'd be a problem. But yeah, that is a, that is a bit of a shame um, because, you know, I, I was expecting that to land, you know, on the landing pad. Um, anyway, you know, what do you think, you know, of, of, you know, we'll put the video up, see what you think of the film quality, see what you think of Buzz Ludger. Maybe you've never heard of it. Maybe you'll want to look it up. I don't know. Uh, we're probably going to go up and have a look around 
Um, we can't go in. No one's allowed in. Um, you have to break and enter if you want to go in. We're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is quite strong winds out here. Yet that drone went up and flew around, did an orbit, no problems, absolutely no problems. We got it right over the top of it. It flew around it. We'll have to see the footage, whether the picture quality would be um, as good as, you know, I mean, you know, I've been, I've, been, I've been looking at a lot of videos on YouTube between a Femi X8 SE and a Mavic Air 2, because like part of me is thinking, oh, should I get one of those? Um, and I kind of think maybe that would get rid of some of the issues we've had in footage, but I've certainly seen some beautiful videos from an X8 SE 2020. And when you put them side by side with a Mavic Air 2, I mean, there's some lovely videos out there where you think, wow, you know, actually this, the camera on this is decent. Um, you know, but I, I'm sure a DJI would be, I, I, I'd, I'd love an Air 2 anyway, I think, just because the DJI's are lovely. A Mavic Mini's lovely, it just can't handle this wind. And it doesn't like city areas where there's lots of Wi-Fi. Remote locations like this, I'm guessing the Wi-Fi interference wouldn't be an issue. I think you definitely get strong wind warnings here. I mean, I'm giving myself a strong wind warning at the moment. Uh, the, pla the pram blew over earlier, um, Emily was fine. Um, so, I mean, if that's not a string w strong wind warning, I don't know what else is. But, um, but actually, although it didn't land on its landing pad perfectly, I'm not sure why, we've got the setting turned on now, so it's a bit disappointing. Other reviews, I've seen it land absolutely bang on where it's meant to. Uh, but, the landing pad didn't blow away, that's good. The drone didn't fly off, um, it didn't get blown over by the wind, so all, all I can say is, if you're looking to get one of these, it can fly around this in winds like, you know, this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's great. I, I didn't, I wasn't sure what was going to happen, I was really nervous. I thought to myself, I don't know, I just thought, we'll probably get here. I mean, the road up was scary enough, but... You know, just we thought. I thought we'd get here, and we wouldn't be able to get that drone. You know, to go around it. I mean, I suppose you've got ideas of the drone going up, flying around, looking really close. I don't really want to do that because there's there's builders there, um, so I'm a little bit worried about doing that. Um, I don't want to annoy anybody. I don't want to get in anyone's way. I don't want to alert anybody. I mean, essentially, you know, we've got a good cinematic look around it. That's what we wanted to do. We're not going to try, I mean, the wind is too high anyway. You're not going to try and fly something, you know. Yes, they're relatively precise, but you saw it blowing around a bit when we started. I don't think that if you tried to fly very close to that, that you could really take, you know, it'd be a bit too risky. I, I know I've seen videos where people have flown in the window, you know, but maybe they've done it on a day where there's no wind whatsoever. There's no people whatsoever. Um, you know, and it's a much safer environment, but and maybe they used something very, you know, with very precise control, maybe like a Mavic Air 2 or a Mavic Pro. Uh, I, I think, you know, we, we've, we've done well, you know, for, for, you know, I don't know, beginners. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I hope that the drone got a good view. I mean, there's still a little, well, there's 30% battery, you know, but, um, yeah, it's a shame we couldn't like sort of show you. Maybe I could take it up for a few minutes and sort of show you just over that way. Just have a look around a bit. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe we should do that because it seems a waste to... Uh, so I'm going to turn the, turn the camera back on. Um, I'm going to take off. I think it can take off from where it is. Yeah. I'm going to put it up. Should we pivot it round? Oh, I need to go up a bit. And I was trying to pick the gimbal up there. Right, so. Pivot it round a bit. There we are. Right, hello. It is blowing a bit. It wants to go up. It's, um, hang on, gimbal down. Oh, no, wrong way. Low battery, please land ASAP. Which is a real shame. Maybe we just go up and have a quick sort of view around. You know, maybe just sort of show you some stuff. I think what we'll probably do anyway is sort of like do a bit of a manual filming of um, 
of uh, of the of yeah. Hang on, let's pick the gimbal up again. Oh, I need to get used to it. Up is down, down is up. But it's just kind of zoom around a bit, have a look around. There, there's Buzzledger again. No, up's up. Hang on, right. There's Buzzledger. That's a nice area. <laughs> to be honest, I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to land it, aren't we? Really. Um, but you you get the idea. You know, you get the idea. It's a nice area. It looks great. We'll try and do a bit of like manual filming with a phone, I think. And then hopefully you can sort of like have a good look. And um, you know, I wonder if it'll land this time actually. But maybe what we can do is we'll film with the, we'll film with the phone, get the camera out, we'll have a look around, we'll film that, and then we'll put that in a video. We'll put that on the video hopefully, if my video skills are up to it. But yeah. You know, to be honest with you, the battery, we have got another battery, but we kind of want to film some other places today, so I think we saved the battery for that. So let's let it let it try and land. It's actually landing on its landing pad. It's having a go at it. Whoa! That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Maybe you can come and have a look at how close that is. That is that's close. You know, I mean you know, they're never going to land, well, I have seen them land 100% in the middle, but it's not very, very common. Anyway, um, we'll probably put some extra bits on the end of the video, just try and show you around, get you some nice, you know, views of the place that you couldn't really see because the, maybe the drone just couldn't stay up long enough. Um, but thanks for watching. You know, I really appreciate it. You know, everybody who watches, you know, thanks very much. Um, please subscribe. Um, click the uh, notifications bell so that you get notified of new videos but yeah thanks very much oh and like the video because you know it's great if you do um, obviously maybe you don't like the video but is it really gonna hurt you if you like it anyway I mean it's not gonna hurt you is it so you know you're not gonna get marked down or something if you if you like it so yeah like it just like it for me you know you know we're not going to get to a beach house if people dislike the videos. So, um, you know, not that we probably will get to a beach house. We might not. But if we did, then thanks very much for starting us on our journey. You've been brilliant. Thanks very much. See you again later. Bye.